The world consists of the caught and the uncaught. There are numerous instructors here, and I'm one of them. I would not align my name, and that's most important, my name and reputation with someone unless I knew they were a person of integrity, unless I knew that this organization can deliver for them. This organization, CEO Space, it's bigger than Dur Bernie Dorman. Bernie Dorman. Bernie Dorman. Bernie Dorman. Integrity. 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 Authentic. Sincerity. More giving. Truth. Personal friend, overcompliant, transformational leader, cares about the people, over delivers on everything he says. Bernie Dorman. Bernie Dorman. Bernie Dorman. Bernie Dorman. Bernie Dorman. BJ Dorman. Transparent. If this man is not who he says he is, there is no way that CEO Space would present what he does here for, I mean, thousands, thousands of people. Hi, I'm Maria Speth with the law firm of J. Berg & Wilk. I've been in the uh, legal field for tw over 20 years, uh, practicing in intellectual property. I want to talk today about um, what you may have heard about Bernie Dorman's background. It is in fact true that Bernie Dorman does have a uh, conviction for contempt of court related to a securities issue more than 20 years ago. He's also the person who actually founded CEO Space. Uh, and because of that, a lot of people want to know, well, what about this background, what about this conviction? You know, we talk about the, the, uh, the background of the actual violation that, that, uh, that um, Bernie was involved in. Uh, it's interesting, it, as I said earlier, it came, it came as a result of a speech that Bernie gave. And uh, Bernie was in charge of a huge, huge amount of assets. And that speech, that presentation that he gave, uh, had nothing to do with Bernie earning even one dime on anything. He earned no money from what he was ultimately convicted of. The accusation was that because Bernie spoke about the project and then omitted in that presentation to tell certain material facts that they said he should have known, um, that, enough, that alone was enough. Uh, and, and Bernie uh, was um, accused of not giving all of the information when he didn't, he didn't even have all of the information. What was interesting to me was he never, he never earned any money off of it, never earned any money whatsoever. Usually, if you get in trouble for anything securities related, it's because you've sold some securities and you've made money off of it. In this situation, that was not the case at all. Bernie was simply giving a presentation. What we have found here at CEO Space is that Bernie has uh, taught us and taught everyone involved, anybody who's raising capital, how to be over compliant. Sure, there's legal compliance and the securities lawyers can tell you about legal compliance, but Bernie talks about being over compliant, about taking every extra measure, about avoiding the situation that he got into. And to have that kind of experience, to hear it from that point of view, from somebody who's been there, uh, is really invaluable. If you're going to learn about securities, regulations, and laws, do you want to learn from someone who can teach you who's never been through prosecution? Or do you want to learn from someone who's been head of a firm as big as Smith Barney, who has uh, been on the other side of vicious, prolonged prosecution, which they fought, saying, we, you know, I didn't do anything wrong, and got into a circumstance when they were going through this where there wasn't a case about right and wrong. This is a trust network, and so integrity is not an option. Wow, CEO Space is like business in a box. This is the one place where you got hundreds of people coming from virtually every industry. This is my first CEO Space, and wow, it's just been a really unbelievable experience. I'm gonna walk out of here probably with about six to eight deals. Hi, my name is Harry Lay, and I'm the president of Lay Professional Services, Inc. out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. I was a CPA in public practice for 19 years. I was an auditor with a firm named Arthur Anderson and a partner with a firm named BDO Seidman. I have lots of experience with publicly held companies, security transactions, and I know all about that. I'm very sensitive to my reputation as a CPA, as a professional, and as a businessman. After 19 years in public accounting, I became the president of an architectural engineering firm, which under my watch grew from $4 million in revenue, 40 employees, to over 100, 650 employees in five cities, and we grossed over $100 million. During that period of time, we had the opportunity and we built 
over uh, 400 Walmart stores a year. We opened, help Walmart open over 400 stores a year. I'd like to talk to you a little while today about a man named Bernie Dorman. He invited me to CEO space and I did my due diligence and was shocked to find out that Bernie Dorman was a convicted felon. So I did my due diligence. I talked to Bernie, very open about it, told me all the facts about it, referred me to his attorney who I interviewed. I talked to a lot of witnesses and people around that incident and I can't believe he was convicted for what he was charged. I also did some work and found out that he had never, he had been audited many times, clean opinion every time. He had complied with all the, complied with all the regulations. He didn't get any money of any kind from the, from the alleged transaction. But I came to CEO space in spite of that fact, in spite of that, but I was concerned about my, the, this effect on my reputation. And was I surprised? CEO Space is a wonderful place, but B.J. Dorman, I don't know a man more giving than he is. Giving, not taking. He's an outward-focused person who cares about the people with whom he works. Two years after I began working with him, he asked me to join his board of directors. And now I serve on a few board of directors, but I'm very cautious about that. Again, I did more due diligence. And for three years, I've been on his board of directors, and I couldn't be more proud of my association with any organization or a man than I am with mine with CEO Space and B.J. Dorman. You can Google me. You can find my contact information. I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. If you have any questions or concerns about being associated with him, please call me. Hi, my name is Les Brown. I'm Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy. You know, a lot of people are looking for ways in which they can take their lives to the next level. Here's what we know. You can't get there by yourself. I know that CEO Space has had a dramatic impact, not only just on my life, but on my children's lives. And, and one of the things about today, we, we have created a culture of buzzard watchers, people that are always looking to tear people down, people who look and Google Bernie Dorman's name and say, well, he has a background, he has a criminal background. Let me share something with you. The world consists of the court and the uncourt. There are numerous instructors here, and, and I'm one of them. I would not align my name, and that's most important, my name and reputation with someone unless I knew they were a person of integrity, unless I knew that this organization can can deliver for them. I say to you, if you're ready to bring about a dramatic change in your life, we have the instructors, we have the faculty, we have the curriculum, we have the resources, we have the tools that will allow you to create an incredible life for yourself, to touch the lives of others. I think it's time that we begin to, to put to rest this, this whole competitive dog-eat-dog -dog mindset that has permeated that level of capitalism day is gone. He just flew in for this weekend from China and he's here to make a little announcement to everyone. So I'd like Domingo and his team to come up. We just signed uh, a couple months ago a $200 million contract in China for um, premier Canadian spring water to bring to China as a luxury item. I do want to share the bottle here with you. $200 million. <laughs> This is your father. 425 Denver time, and we are just completing a $25 million financing package. One year ago, BJ, I came to the forum in LA, and we worked a year. We have five major projects worth about $50 million each. We now have $25 million in Hi, my name is Chris Salter, and I'm the founder of uh, Music Wizard Group. We have an amazingly simple video game that teaches kids to play piano. Bernie Dorman is no longer and has not been for a long time the forum. He's the founder, he's the visioner, he's the creator, he's its strongest advocate, but when you get here, the resources are immense and they are real. And I've known Bernie Dorman uh, over eight years, and. It's kind of funny that I'm up here giving this testimonial because they joke that before I came to the forum I did everything but full body cavity searches to check it out. And that uh, it was, you know, I'd just been burned a lot of times and it sounded way too good to be true. And so I looked online and Googled this and went to the discussion groups and I found some things on, on Bernie that concerned me. 
Um, and so, you know, I went and I talked to his attorney and I talked to his wife and I talked to all the other professors and I, you know, I, I just did a lot of due diligence. Uh, but there was, this was a very attractive idea that this, you know, this place could be where you could really learn and people would help each other. Uh, that really resonated with me, but, you know, it just sounded too good to be true. So it was a big, big step for me, a, a, you know, and something that I, I, I felt very nervous about. I got here and to this forum and I felt immediately embarrassed. I realized that this forum was actually far more than they had actually promised to me. Uh, within a couple of hours I could see the, the vast resources, the sea of mentors, uh, the quality of the instruction, the, the quality of the caring, uh, the warmth of people all kind of collaborating and trying to do their own dreams. And I realized I had been picking a scab, a 20-year-old scab of this man, uh, you know, for, because of my, basically, my personal fears of other people who had ripped me off and all these things. And for the first year that I came to this forum, uh, I, I didn't bother Bernie Dorman because the resources here were so rich. All the faculty, all the other members were so rich, I didn't need to bug him about anything. I've been now coming to this forum for eight years straight. I've raised over $10 million for my company. I've gotten my dream off the ground and, and into the world. And there is no question that I've been around some of the highest integrity people I've ever known. This is a trust network, and so integrity is not an option. We have to trust each other. It's a little village. If you do well, everyone knows. If you don't, everyone knows. But in the age of the internet, uh, this infraction that he had years ago uh, haunted, you know, him in, in ways that uh, you know no one would expect. I went past that, and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I am, have been so blessed, and I count him as a, a dear friend. He's been a blessing to me and my and my family and my life. And you can also look me up at uh, musicwizard.com. My email is chris at musicwizard.com. I am an open book. I will share with you my true experiences with Bernie Dorman if that helps. If I could have uh, a moment, I'd like to honor our veterans and our service and first responders. We are so grateful to you. Hi, I'm Ed Atlas, uh, retired Army, and um, I never expected this reception. Um, I was served, I served in the Army at the, uh, the Pentagon. I was there on 9-11, and for me, this is just a, just <laughs> Thank you. All I can say is thank you. Thank, th thank you, sir. Hello, I'm Nicholas Aldistani and I've been coming to CEO Space since 2002. I've been with companies like Ogilvy & Mather, Oracle, which are my own company that we sold. Uh, and uh, I've been in also helping companies grow. I've been an investor in early stage companies and I've been with big corporations and I've been with startups. I've been in environments where uh, people are not that honest. People, you know, hide things. 